Hello, I'm Sarah Whitaker, and welcome to the Blake and Bull Festive Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be cooking sausage and chestnut stuffing, which you can either serve stuffed into your festive bird or as individual stuffing balls. And the ingredients I'm using start with sausages. These are the best sausages you can buy locally sourced from the butcher. If you don't want meat sausages, you can always use vegan sausages for this recipe. So to accompany the sausages, I have some chestnuts. You can buy chestnuts nuts whole, roast them, peel them and turn them into stuffing or you can buy them where somebody else has done all the hard work for you and when they come out of the packet they are whole chestnuts and what I've done with mine is I've just crumbled them up between thumb and forefinger to make them nice and crumbly. It looks a bit like breadcrumbs. I didn't want a puree, I want a bit of texture in this. And the next ingredient is an onion, which I have peeled and chopped. And then I've got some chopped fresh parsley, some fresh thyme, salt, pepper, and a little bit of oil. The first thing for my sausage and chestnut stuffing is the onions. So I've got a nice big nonstick pan, spoonful of oil, and my chopped onions go into the pan. Then I'm going to put the lid on the pan, give it a shake to coat the onions in the oil. Then I'm going to put the pan onto the boiling plate and the onions are going to start to sizzle and fry in the pan. As they sizzle and fry, they're going to give off a bit of steam. And when the lid of the pan is too hot to rest my hand on comfortably, there's enough steam in the pan that the onions are at boiling point. The onions have been sitting on the boiling plate for a couple of minutes now, sizzling away. So the lid is too hot to rest my hand on comfortably, which tells me there's lots of steam in the pan and the onions have come up to boiling point. Now that they are at boiling point, they go into the simmering oven, they go in boiling, they carry on cooking, shut the lid, contain the heat. I've taken the handle off the pan. I'm just going to rest it on the simmering plate lid to remind me that there is actually something in the oven. So here are my onions, softened, sweated and cooked. I've got my sausages, which I've broken up. I'm going to add the warm onion. Then I'm going to add my chestnuts. And I've got a sprig of thyme and I'm just going to pull the leaves off that and drop it in. I've got a bit more that I've already done. And some parsley and a couple of grinds of pepper and a tiny bit of salt. And then I'm just going to mix everything together and that is the stuffing. I'm going to roll it into stuffing balls and then I'm going to put it on the grill rack on its high setting. So the stuffing balls are sitting outside of and above the height of the fits on the runner's tin. And this should make anything from 10 to 15 balls of stuffing, depending on how big you like them. These freeze incredibly well. You can either cook them and freeze them or you can freeze them, defrost them and cook them. By putting them on the rack, they're going to sit separately of each other. And as they cook, the fat's going to drip through the rack rather than having very fatty. If you've got very fatty sausages, this just means they're not sitting in a puddle of fat. I'm going to slide the tin straight onto the second runners in the oven. In it goes, that's gonna take 15 or 20 minutes. No need to turn them over, no need to go near the oven, just leave them and they just carry on on their own. So here they are, sausage and chestnut stuffing balls. Very quick to make, very easy to make, very useful to have in the freezer. You can make them in the next few days if you like. The full recipe is on the website, blakeandbull.co.uk, along with lots and lots of other recipes. And if you make them, let us know how you get on. We always love to hear how people are getting on with our recipes. Thank you very much for watching and Merry Christmas.